hello fam coming back to you with another short video we had to just get out lord tmz saying that yovana plus sewer is coming then we got celebrity insider saying uh no she's coming but she's coming as a friend of the show she's not coming to a full-time peach holder so, I don't know, guys. What's going on? They want to make her one? I don't think they should. What happened to Fei Fei? We want Phaedra. We want Phaedra. Can you not hear us knocking at your door, Bravo Entertainment? True Entertainment. Can you not hear Andy going? We ain't say nothing about no Yovana. We don't want her to come back and dred drudge up no snake gate. And, you know, people implying that you know she wanna she like taping people don't nobody want to hang around there like that just ain't they want to hang around phaedra and all her little uh way she had going on prior to getting dismissed from the show we don't want to uh hang around you either not a person that can sit there and record our conversation and take them for somebody else to hear to make up some storylines and some issues about con confidentiality and all that stuff i mean this ain't helpful <laughs> We want our private conversations with the ones we want to be with. And if we have to throw order out there, we, we stand in our own shit. We can repeat exactly what we said verbatim, okay? We don't need uh, a person that's holding their phone as a scene to calling themselves, taping us to get it word for word for word. No, we're grown here. We can say what we said. Whether we drunk, whether we, you know, high, whether we um, in our right state of mind, okay? Ain't no aphrodisiac, you know, um, what do you call it? Hypnotic type situation going on. We said what we said what we said, and we'll say it again to your face, what we said. Okay, we have no problem, we grown. But anyway, we got this nice salacious story that came out on Celebrity Insider's uh, entertainment gossip um, site. The article journalist for this particular piece was written by ashley mitchell yes she titled her article yovana manaplasor might join the real housewives of atlanta cast full time here's how the other ladies feel about it tell me what you feel tell me what you feel speak your mind on it okay but anyway we go into the article itself it says there have been rumors that yovana manaplasor may be joining the cast of the real housewives of atlanta full time after she made quite the splash in the latest season of the show sidebar what splash did she make she came on the show trying to tempt tease and mislead folks is what she tried to do okay on nini's behalf and to get her some taping time so she could be that itch from clark atlanta you know how she go you know how she runs what circles she tries to be a part of Whew, did we forget and then he almost ran her over <laughs> when she was trying to leave Marlo Hamp, this wig event. And Mono Plus Sue came out there trying to talk to Nene. And then he said, don't you break my wonder, girl. I, I whooped your behind. I molly whop you. Oh, God, I'm like, damn. She's supposed to be your ace boo cool, your private investigator. And you want to molly whop her? Okay, Nene. All right, girl. I hear you. She get too close to the personal accessories. I guess you do have to break camp and show somebody what you're working with. Okay. But that was all my sidebar, not in this particular lady's article. But going back to the article said, that being said, one insider report claims to know how the other ladies, including Candy Burris, feels uh, about this as well as how close to the truth the speculations really are. Due to the role of she played, or due to the role that she played in the whole Snake Gate drama, many believe that Yovana will end up becoming a full-time housewife in a new season. Sidebar, why? <laughs> <laughs> what constitute her uh being very lively and expressing herself pretty loudly about uh portia williams husband being the snake or her boyfriend being the snake that's who you need to watch she tried to throw it all off because she knew it was no snake gate the whole snake gate was her and nene and candy i already said both of y'all look like snakes i don't want to be bothered with y'all she y'all can strike me at any time all right and then i'm out to come for you i'm out to drag <laughs> up in this camp even though we know can ain't gonna do much dragging in her mind yeah she don't have everybody together don't put hands on everybody but in reality where we live all the time shit ain't happening ain't nothing gonna happen out of candy she ain't finna do nothing 
But anyway, going back to the article, it says, furthermore, since Nene Leakes decided to stop participating in the virtual reunion when she showed up on screen, it's being said that her future on the show is uncertain at this point. I'm like, really? Really now? That little unspoken thing that Nene did by trampling out of the reunion is going to cost her her seat? Well, then y'all were trying to get rid of her in the first place, okay? The writing was already on the wall. So, my thing is, <laughs> Nene, please, Yovana, please, and Bravo Entertainment, you got to be kidding me. You said you want your ratings to go up. Bringing Yovana as a full-time peach holder, it's not going to do anything but make us not want to watch or come on our platforms and drag Bravo Entertainment for filth or getting you all together in my way of choosing to use my words, Okay. You're already skating on thin ice, Bravo. Is you gonna change up some of di- some of the dynamics, or you just need another whole cast or go on about your merely way, you know? Because Yovana can't hold the show, and if nobody really want to tape with her, with the ideal that she may record them, I mean, really, Andy. Andy, where we going with this, man? Where are we going with this? You seem to be pretty level-headed. And she definitely can come, Yvonne, uh, a house, wife, friend, okay? But that's about it. We don't need to see her full-time unless she coming with the comeback. Unless she going and getting with Kenya. She ta- she tackling the hard hitters up, up in here, okay? And that means she got to go toe-to-toe with Portia Williams, too. Because Portia Williams still ain't forgot that your man is a snake. <laughs> So, and I don't think she can handle Portia, okay? And I know my queen uh, twirlers can't say that she can come for Kenya more either. So, we don't really need that matchup because we know it ain't nothing but baby milk. It ain't no strong whole milk, okay? That's baby milk with a little sugar inside, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, does that mean that Yovana could end up replacing Nene? In the meantime, speculations say that the other ladies, meaning Candy Burr, Cynthia Bailey, Kenya Moore, Portia Williams, as well as even Marcel, are all expected to make a return in season 13. Huh. So, we ain't get Phaedra back. If this is absolutely true, this is the gospel, there is no room for Phaedra to come back. Because she damn sure ain't going to come back for pennies on a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Especially when we already know she's a heavy hitter and would have probably still been there. She just didn't take the idea of Carlos King putting something in her head and she just happened to have to put it out there. Okay. Unchecked. Unfactual information. Okay. But anyway. Going back to the article, it said, that being said, the sources tell Hollywood Life that some of them would not be happy about Yovana joining the cast. Well, what about the viewers of the show? What about the bloggers? Hell, we ain't, we ain't with that either. We ain't happy. Forget about what the cast talking about. Hell, we ain't happy. Because if we ain't happy, what's the point of seeing and looking at the show? Okay? We are the piece of resistance, the viewers, the fans, the fanatics. Okay? The lovers of the show. We are the, we are the shit. Not the cast members of the show we trying to watch please that's just my sidebar okay anyway going back to the article it says if Yvonne is in fact coming back full time several of the ladies will not be happy she is not friends or even acquaintances with any of them they think that she planted rumors about her joining the show herself meaning the cast is willing to film with Yvonne and they are open to fresh faces but having her doesn't make sense they have no idea she was even showing up to the reunion well honey that's a lie I know Eva was gonna know about it because she had talked about it uh behind closed doors I believe with Yvonne and with Nene sending desist, uh, cease and desist letters she obtained uh Eva Marcel's husband uh for him representing her in any way form shape or fashion okay in the law eyes in the public forum in the uh if they ever had to go to court she has michael sterling as a retainer she has him as a lawyer to go against nene or into any entities of nene coming for her okay and probably other cast me- members of the real housewives of Atlanta too that's just my sidebar going back to the article it said um another insider who is supportedly Oh, no, another insider who is supposedly part of the production denied the rumors are true, stressing that Yovana has not been invited to become an official cast member. 
At the same time, however, the first insider did mention that the contracts for season 13 are yet to be given out to the housewives to sign. So there is still time for Yovana to get a full-time cast invitation. And pretty much the article ends there and they're asking your opinions on pretty much. So I'm asking you too. Do y'all want to see Yvonne Hill as a full-time peach holder? I can tell you my perspective. Hell no. Not sure though. She didn't impress me in season 12 or any other time she was on The Real Housewives of Atlanta as a friend. That's where she needs to stay as a friend. Because who really wants to take with her? Who really do in their right mind? Knowing that she may do some uh, underhanded, scrupulous stuff. Bring you back to why Phaedra got dismissed from the show. But Bravo, if you're listening hard, if you're listening loud, if you're, if you're listening long, we want Phaedra, we want Phaedra here on Dev Snell's 48th World Show platform. That's what we are egging for, gunning for. We don't want Yovana. You want, Yovana ain't got no smoke. She ain't got no steam, okay? We need somebody to push a train on the Underground Railroad. We already got Porsche for that. We know she about the man. She, we know she, Porsche, we about that life, okay? Mama didn't raise no food when they made her. <laughs> but that's all I got, loves. That's all I have. So y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about subject matter. And them meaning Bravo Entertainment calling themselves allegedly bringing Yovana Mona Plus Sewer as a full-time peach holder. Are you kidding me? We don't went from the toilet to the sea. We don't flush the feces into the sea, guys, with this mess. But like I said, continue to subscribe, share, like, comment on my videos, and make your opinion because you're my family too. And I love to hear from you. You know I do. All right. And I will see y'all next video. Good night.